All right, I've chosen to look at number seven. They're all very similar in nature in that with the x-intercept, I plug in zeros for everything else. For the y, I plug in zeros for everything else. And for the z-intercept, I plug in zeros for everything else. Um, for this here, when I plug in zeros for everything else here, I end up getting that x is equal to one when I just divide both sides by x. When I plug in zeros everything here, I end up simply getting that y is equal to three. And when I plug in zeros here, to undo the one-half, I would multiply by two over one. Because then the twos cancel and the ones cancel. And I do want to multiply by negative two over one. So z is equal to negative six. So to graph this, I'm going to go ahead and put a point here at the one. One, two, three on the y-axis. And one, two, three, four, five, six on the z-axis. I connect them off, make a nice little shaded region there, and that's it.